or Paul Osu, give us your reaction to having signed a new contract with AFC Wimbledon. So obviously, this is a very another exciting moment. Obviously, it wasn't it was just a couple of months ago where I just signed my first contract, but to get a renewal right now, it's a big thing for me. And obviously, my family has they've been giving me lots of lots of support. Yes, you've got your family here with you today, which is great. Was there any other interest from elsewhere, or was it always AFC Wimbledon for you? Well, with me, I always had my eyes on Wimbledon, so, and this was my first pro club, so I just wanted to stay here and obviously keep my loyalty to this club. Yeah. How important is it as well for your development that it was to stay at this club? Um, well, to be fair, obviously with the history of Robo and um, with James, they helped me a lot to obviously develop as a left back where obviously our first got put there, which I didn't really know how to adapt to them. But then obviously, um, I can see that my development has really improved over the couple, first uh, first few months, then it was graduating, graduating, then it gradually got better, so yeah. And you've seen so many of your teammates that you've come through with get contracts as well. Is that something that excites you, the potential of this young side? Oh yeah, definitely. The fact that I get to now stay on and uh, also play with them, of hopefully bring more history to this club, yeah. So much has happened since you signed that first initial deal towards the end of last season. How much do you feel you've grown physically and mentally as a player? Oh, well, I feel like I've grown mentally massively because um, when I first came I was a bit nervous, but obviously with the support of the fans, I feel like they get right behind you then. You're like your confidence builds up within the team and then obviously you can do what you, um, show what you can provide for the club. How important has that been to you? I mean, it is a fans club as well, the fans getting around you. Has that really helped? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, knowing the history of the club and knowing that the fans are right behind you, then obviously boosts up your confidence and want you to do more and make you proud to actually wear the badge on your chest. And in that first team dressing room as well, who are the characters who've really helped you sort of get into to first team life? Oh, um, so we have like Scott Wagstaff, uh, Anthony Woolworth, Piggott. Um, yeah, there's a, quite a few characters in there that I can easily go to, ask for advice or help. But yeah, I feel like everyone in there, you can, and even Paul Callum Bay, he's uh, obviously I know him from Brentford, so I feel like he's usually the first person I go to, then obviously then the most experienced players in the club. Absolutely, just tell us a little bit about yourself and Paul, because of course you go back quite a way, we spoke to him a few weeks ago, you live yeah. with Brentford. Yeah, so obviously I, I joined Brentford at under 10s, 11s, and that's when I first met him. It was quite a big lad, he also had his, my, my name, so it was like Paul, and then we like, were both turning around, so our friendship just grew up from there, and obviously we are both from like the same type of area, so we'll like, go to cages and football, we play together. Then obviously now I met him again at Wimbledon, so yeah, I come in with him when we're coming to train and we go back with him. It's yeah, just good vibes with him, to be fair, yeah. How important were the discussions with Glyn Hodges as well? How much do you make you feel a part of Wimbledon's future? Oh, uh, to be fair, so with my experience of going to other clubs, uh, I would say that they will see me as small and all of this, so I wouldn't really. But with Glyn, like, he likes the way I am, so he didn't think of whether I'm small or not, whether this, this, that. He just like he just said, I like you, I'm gonna put you in the team and just boosted up my confidence and I thank you for thank him for giving me opportunity against um, other teams to play. And also working on the training ground as well with Glenn and Nick Dawes as well, how much do you enjoy that? Oh it's it's brilliant to be fair because um recently we've even been adding in different types of drills which have been helping us which we brought it onto the pitch we can see and just hopefully we can just continue to win games help us win games yeah it's been quite a jump as well i mean because we've spoke about in the past you played combined counties level for rains park now you're playing league one football how have you found league one football um a bit tough actually at the 12th to the start but with the help of the players and the encouragement of the managers it helps and then um I do, obviously my development has been getting much better so now I just take it into games and obviously I can see that obviously I've been getting better. And we've spoken about that special moment you had as well scoring your first goal in front of the home end. You've also played in the past as up front playing as a striker. Would you like to be sort of thinking about getting a few more goals in, in future even though you're 
Oh, like definitely. Defense. Yeah, I do miss it. I do miss the attacking side of um, well, playing in the front three. But obviously, it still helps me to be versatile and helps with my defensive side of the game. So, either way, the win-win. So now you've achieved having signed a new deal with AFC Wimbledon. What are your goals going forward, personally? Uh, to obviously add more to the team, add more of that attacking threat, add more pace down the flanks, and obviously assists and goals. Paul, congratulations. Thank you very much.